This video will cover presenting stimuli in sequence with SuperLab. For example, when you have an event producing a stimuli on the screen and you wish for the second event to put its stimuli on screen without erasing the stimuli from the first event. So by default, um, the settings are such that each event erases the screen before presenting itself. So I'll just demonstrate that now. So as you saw there, the stimuli from the first event appeared, then the second event produced its stimuli on the screen and it erased the stimuli from the first event. So let's go into the settings and, and, uh, and check them out. So under the stimulus tab and settings, presentation options, we can see that um, there's a setting for erase the screen before presenting the stimulus. Now this is set to be on by default. And for the first um, event, that's fine because it clears the screen nicely for our stimulus. So I'll click oh, uh, cancel that. On the second event, um, it causes a problem because it erases the stimulus from the first event. So we'll uncheck that now. Click OK and OK. And we'll run the experiment again. Okay, so there you saw um, both stimuli on screen. Just want to point out that for this to work, um, the stimuli mustn't overlap. So our first stimulus is uh, arranged to be just above the center line and the second stimulus if I preview that is arranged to be below the center line so this method can be used for more than two events producing as many stimuli as you'd like um, so let's demonstrate that let's add another event so it's a text event, I'll add some texture. And I'd like to indicate in milliseconds how long it's gonna be on for. I'll give it a name. Little stim. We're going to set the end event after thousand milliseconds and remove the end after any response we're going to um, move the stimuli out of the way so by default it comes to the middle in the center of the screen and we just go to the position tab and raise it by 100 pixels also we need to prevent it from erasing the screen uh, removing the first stimulus, so uncheck erase from screen. Click OK. So a quick preview, and it's plenty of space to clear the first stimulus and the second stimulus. Of course, you can move it whenever you like. Okay, click OK. Now let's include it in our trial. Uh, click run. Okay, you saw there all three end up on the screen at the end at the same time. What if we wanted um, the second stimulus to disappear? Well, we can um, we can do that. We go into the settings option under the presentation options. You can see we have um, settings for erasing the screen before, um, settings for erasing the screen after and also a setting for erase the stimulus at the end of the event so in this way the middle stimulus will um, remove itself so click ok and click ok again 
So what we should see is the first stimulus appear, the second stimulus come on screen as well, and then at the end of the, um, the middle stim event for its stimulus to disappear, and the last stim to appear on screen along with the first. Let's click play. Okay. 